The Next Cycle, Season 28, Episode 5. You got the part? You actually got the part? What was he wearing? Sunglasses? Thanks for the support, Alicia. I'm kidding. I'm so happy for you. Thanks. But keep it to yourself. I don't want any hassle until the film has been released. Yeah, sure. Are you sure you want this role, Rosie? You don't seem that happy about it. This could be huge. It's not that. It's just the director said Matt and I had serious chemistry. You mean like his corrosive farts? That's not very nice. He doesn't even fart that much. And how would you know? You don't speak to him. Sorry. Why is it a big deal if you do have chemistry? It's not like you want to see two opposing lovers, is it? I was just wondering if it was inappropriate. Matt and I are friends. This is so embarrassing. Why would it be inappropriate? If you're just friends and it's nothing more than just being professional on set then you have nothing to worry about. Not unless you are both together and showcasing your relationship on an international film. Yeah well. You like him don't you? Okay shush. Don't shout it from the rooftops. Oh come on Rosie. It's about time you got down to a bit of nuki. What do you mean it's time to get down to some nuki? It's not like you have done anything is it? Is it? Well while you were sulking around prison after killing Mr. Jar Red. I was getting some flings with a friend. You mean friends with benefits. Isn't that a bit sleazy? Well they do call me easy Elisha. Gross. Anyway I need to get back to serving. Speak later. Hello Elisha. Hello Drive Love. That's me. It's all about the love from me. What did you want? I am looking for your permission for something. Okay. I have a proposal for you. Stop. No. I know you love love. But I will not marry you. No you idiot. Why would I want to marry you you freak? Gosh you are desperate aren't you? Says the one who is obsessed with love. This is what you don't get Elisha. I am not obsessed. But if I embody love. Like if my insides reflect the outside world in my perception. Then I attract love and all kinds of lovely things towards me. I really don't care. What's your so-called proposal? Well because I love Valentine's Day. How about I change Mike's Tasty Dishes menu to a Valentine's Day menu for the whole of February. It's my favorite time of year. Clearly. What are you planning on putting on the menu exactly? I was thinking make it all fun with jokes. Jokes about love. Maybe drop a few and you endos on the customers. Give me an example. Okay, how about a nuki cookie? More like pukey pukey. That's revolting and most unorthodox. And enough to put anyone off even buying that cookie. Sorry, Jacob. But I'm not sorry. There is no way you will change that menu. We'll see about that. 